All right, so good evening, everyone. It's your man Todd from FaceTime with Todd Warden. So right now we are in the East Village in New York City at a great benefit from Diare di Piazza. Now they are honoring tonight actor Armando Sante, Italian actress Eleonora Pioni, and Jesus Puerto right here at the local spot entitled Local 92. So let's go inside and take a look at this great event, and I'm going to bring you highlights, interviews, and all the food that we're about to taste right here in New York City on FaceTime. Time with Todd Warden. So I'm here with, I'm going to say legendary Italian actor. This is Golden Globe, primetime Emmy. This is my man, Armand Asante. Armand, how you doing, brother? I'm very, very good. I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah. Now, you're being honored right now at a very traditional Southern Italian fundraising benefit by my girl, Alessandra. How honored are you to be here right now? I'm thrilled, and you know, this woman, Alessandra Bologna, and her work, um, it's very significant to me to see ritual. Yeah. Because all of us, uh, we're all here in one room, and I feel the world right now <laughs> needs to be in one room. I think so. Because there's a... You know, there's tremendous intangible duplicity going on. And you and I as Italians who yes. come from family and the idea that all we are are just families on this earth. Correct. You know what I mean? We're here for a very brief, brief time. But the thing is, I don't want the state of the world for my grandchildren. Correct. So the significance of this ritual, it really rings home to me. Mm -hmm. Because I see that families created these rituals for meaning. Correct. It doesn't mean you have to subscribe right. to rituals or religion or anything. But the fact is, we all on this planet right now have to be in one room. Yes. And, and I agree must with that. be in one room. They have to be in one room. And I think a lot of people are going to respect you hugely for saying that because sometimes we forget how important family is, how important friends are, how important the people in our lives that make our world a better place reach out and make a phone call, say hi. And at the end of the day, you're preaching the words of the great Bob Mall, who used music in the terms of one love, yep. right? Bringing it together. Absolutely. But with everything going on today, COVID and everything that we're seeing from the animosity from the World Cup and everything else, we have to realize that the people are in front of us, they're responsible for all the goodness that happens in this world. And we should appreciate that. Yep. And I think people are going to respect the fact that at the end of the day, let's all go together in one room, meaning the world, and let's just live life and have a good time. I have never, uh, it's interesting you say that I've never taken for granted one moment how hard my grandparents worked to give the, to give the family what Correct. they gave. Because they, they put us here. Yeah. We wouldn't be here without them. Oh my God, and you are 100% right, because we have those stories where our grandparents used to say, yeah, I used to climb up a mountain just to get a, a bottle of Coca-Cola and then come back down with a little like rag so we can create a skirt, stuff like that. So you have clothes to wear. But today, me and you go to Saks Fifth Avenue, we don't have it like that, right. right? And I agree with that. But with Alessandra right now, and when she approached you to get this award, how great would the feeling of that be like, you know what, I'm coming. And with a great crowd right here that's really looking forward to meeting you, how honored would you to be in part of this tonight? I'm honored. I don't feel I deserve anything. I've had everything in life, but I'm thrilled to be here and especially be part of the Italian community in New York. It's very, very good in my heart. And, um, you know, it's to be honored by an artist uh, and this board of directors here. It's very, very powerful, you know, yeah. because I, I come from very humble beginnings, Correct. as all of us do. But when I look back and I think my family, most of them have passed away now and they're not here. But I feel that they're with, they're, they're with me here in spirit. So. Yeah. Well, you want to know something? Honestly, I'm on. Not just being a time. We're honored to have you here tonight. I'm honored to be interviewing you because you made a huge impact. Impact. I can't even talk. You made a huge impact on Hollywood, thank and we you. thank you for all the years of acting, the success, the humanitarian that you've given. And now you, people can see you firsthand how much of a great human being that you are. And thank you for being who you are. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Of course, my pleasure, guys. This is Armand Asante right here at Local 92 at the Diodate Di Piazza fundraising benefit in New York City. So I 
I'm here, not an award recipient, but a recipient of style in the world. This is Domenico Vaca, luxury clothing designer, recognized. Domenico, how are you doing, sir? Very good, very good. Yeah. Now, if you guys don't know, I have to interrupt and say, if you guys don't know, his wife is one of the recipients, beautiful Italian actress, Eleonora Prioni. How proud are you right I'm, now? I'm a very that? lucky man. I think she's a wonderful woman. It's a great person inside out. It's not only beautiful and uh, yeah. very lucky for that, but also she's a great person. So we've been together for many years, got married some time ago, so it's great. Okay, are you saying that right now so you're not sleeping on the couch tonight, or are you being honest? <laughs> no, 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 I've been very honest. You know, I, I, when you get lucky, you have to realize that you're lucky and you have a great person next to you. Yeah, I've been trying to get lucky through Lotto for the past 40-something years, and uh, yeah, it's not happening, man. <laughs> it's not at all. And I'm jealous right now. I looked at it know, and I'm like, when you get a divorce, you call me. Yes. Call me. Call me. Don't worry about Domenico. Don't worry about it. I hope it's never going to happen, but uh, no. Yeah, no, she's great. She's great. She's amazing. She's got a great personality. She does a lot for the Italian heritage as well, and obviously Alessandra honoring her as well. Now, I love that you're here as well. People don't know... You are definitely one of the inspirations behind Italian luxury designs. You have so many great people that become regulars. Kind of like, I don't know, you've got the LeBron James of the world, uh, obviously Kanye West, but a lot of bigger names. How honored are you that through the years you've opened six shops around the country, one right here in Madison, New York City, that your clothing line has become a staple in the tradition of America, but also from around the world? But you know, I, I was, um, we, we developed, you know, we started a great project 20 years ago. We launched, you know, we launched my, my label, that is Domenico Vaca. And uh, uh, we did two things that were very good. One, we brought to the United States the truly Italian style. Right. You know, every other brand that came here, they were selling to department stores first, and they were changing the fit, the fabrics, and everything to make it fit to everyone. Right. So when we came, we said, okay, if we don't bring the original, authentic Italian style, and, uh, and, and it's not going to work, you know. And uh, fortunately, 20 years ago, America was ready for that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like for food. You know, many years ago was Italian American cuisine that was great, but it was not the original one. Right. And then they started opening restaurants. Look at New York right now. You can have a great meal like you're in Rome or in Florence exactly. or in Milan. So we did the same thing for fashion and worked out very well because a lot of Americans used to go to Italy and say, why well, cannot find those clothes here in New York? That's right. So we brought those clothes here. And second, I was very lucky also there because, you know, cost I started working with costume designers doing wardrobes and costumes for um, uh, big projects, big films and the TV series. So we started doing all the wardrobe for Denzel Washington in American Gangster. And from there, we dressed a lot of people on the set, on, on the big screen, on TV, on the Golden Globes, on the, on the Oscars. So that helped the brand to be known right. at a certain level and has been great. So you became not just a luxury designer, but now you're working with Hollywood as a costume designer for the styles that you already have, which is pretty amazing. I got to get me some clothes, man. <laughs> You know, you're looking good right now. Do you have something that fits like a big guy like yes, me? Yes. I got a V shape going on. As here. you said, we do a lot of athletes. We do, you know, many things because besides our ready to wear collection that you can buy in the store, you can have instant gratification. Then we do a lot of bespoke so we can fit pretty much everyone. So, again, you know, we, we go from Forrest Whitaker to Jeremy Piven. I did all the water for Entourage for Jeremy Piven. That was a great project oh, and it. many other things. So, yeah, well, we, we can have fun. All right, well, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to Forest Whitaker, LeBron James, and then next up, Todd Warden. You, you're going to hook me up. Absolutely. And that's right, guys. If you don't know, if you're in New York City, go to his Madison store, Dominic Vaca, luxury clothing designer, right here at the fundraising event, Local 92 in New York City. All right, so we're back, and I'm here with, and I'm going to say your name right this time, Eleonora Pirani. Bravo, yes. How's that? <laughs> now, Finally. Yeah, exactly. Now, if you guys don't know, we met at the Columbus Day Parade. We had a great interview. All right, yes. this is Italian actress, okay? She is an award presenter, humanitarian, and she also graduated because she has a degree from the New York Film Academy as well. Yes. As an actress. Yes. Now, Eleonora, how are you doing tonight? 
Very good. Thank you for coming. Thank yeah. you to say pronunciate my name very well. Bravo, bravo. Yes. And as, yes, my nickname also is also Ele. Ele. That's great. And Ele. Very, Ele. Well, you're, yes. you're telling me now it took me three hours to know your name. <laughs> you couldn't just tell me Ele. Ele, Ele, Lora. Ele, Nora. Ele, okay. and then the other part is Lora. I'm just going to call you e. With accent. Lora. Ele, Lora. Can you say that? <laughs> okay. Ele, Nora. That's it. That's bravo. Which is the beer, bravo, if you guys bravo. don't know. <laughs> so how honored are you tonight to be honored by Alessandra? Pretty much kind of like an Italian Lifetime Achievement Award for this great fun, you know, fundraising event. Yes. How are you loving this event right now with Alessandra? I love it because uh, I love to dance, I love to sing, and I, my heritage is actually from the south of Italy, and is my second land is Puglia, the, the hill of Italy. Right. And I love to dance sometimes the Tarantata or Tarantella, and I love to sing, and it's very great also to be here and for this reason, and also to help the association about their artists. So we need art, we need, the, we need a theater, we need the films, we need everything is about a talent and art. Right. And plus, I, as you know, I'm a nominated by, I was nominated by the mayor, Eric Adams, as ambassador of Made in Italy and yep. Italian culture in New York. Oh, I know. So this is yeah. one of the other reasons that I have to be here to promote Italian culture, the folklore, and of course, the Made in Italy in, in this in this topic. I mean, this tonight about the South of Italy. So it's, I'm very happy to be here. Well, Anur, you honestly earned it. I know you were in a film, I believe, a couple of years back, where you were pretty much nominated for a foreign film Oscar, correct? Well, uh, I'm right now in a movie, uh, Italian movie that is called Dante, about the Divine Comedy and Dante correct. Alighieri, directed by the best director, one of the best directors in Italy, international director, that is Pupi Abati. And we were in the list, like a, with other 11 movies, to represent at the Oscar the foreign um, movies. Right. We didn't, I mean, we didn't pick it, unfortunately, but we are very happy because we were in the third line right. classification in the box office. Right, so you the were in consideration very, for an Oscar. Yes. And unfortunately, there were so many great films. But you want to know something? Being nominated is amazing. Right? Yeah. That's why I wanted to get that right. Because yes. obviously, I don't speak Italian. She's saying everything beautiful. But right now, we're here with a great event, great food, great people. And Eleanor, thank you, by the way, for inviting me. Because I'm the reason why I'm here is because of this lady right here. And I appreciate you for that, seriously. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. And uh, I'm happy to see you because, yes, we met at the Columbus Day Parade. It was right. beautiful. And you are very good. And then I wish you the good luck and everything. And I wish that it, maybe one day we can do something, pre presenting maybe something together. Hey, about you never something know how Italian. to start. <laughs> about something Italian. I want some brujol. I want some sauteed, whatever. There's Anything spaghetti. is good. For you. Hey, spaghetti's fine with maybe me. Maybe we can cook some spaghetti. What do you think about it? I like maybe, it. Yeah, I'm getting hungry already. So I'm getting maybe hungry we can prepare already like too. Lasagna, spaghetti, bolognese. Mm. That sounds good. But tonight, That's since good. you know my public says I'm gonna have a bowl in air and water. I gotta keep my girl's figure. I'm just saying, but I love the Italian food. But guys, if you don't know, we're here with the Italian actress, award recipient tonight, Eleonore Peroni, right here at the fundraising benefit at Local 92 in New York City. So I'm back with another award recipient. This is Jesus. This is my man Jesus Puerta, if you guys don't know. Now, Jesus, you have a restaurant that you're in an anniversary. Now, I just found out, found out that this restaurant's in Connecticut, right near Yale, and I gotta give a shout out to my brother because he's a Yale alumni, oh, right on. which is really cool. So tell me about this restaurant that you have going on right now for the Cuban, correct? Cuban yeah. food. Yeah, Cuban food. It's called Sol de Cuba Cafe. Right. And my restaurant's been, we're in January, I'm celebrating 18 years there. Uh, a block away from, from the entrance of Yale, showcasing Afro-Cuban culture. Uh, most of the story is a story of my family, mm -hmm. my family's, my ancestry, uh, coming to the Tampa Bay area in the late 1800s and playing a role in Cuba's independence from Spain. Love it. Right? And that's showcased through memorabilia on the walls. 
But in addition to that, my ancestors not only bought over the recipes that I use in the restaurant, okay. you know, which are like over 100 years old, yeah. but also uh, their spirituality. And part of their spirituality uh, included the worship and honor of what we know of in Christianity as the Black Madonna. So we, we have images of Oshun, of Yemaya, of the different, what we call the santos or the orishas in my restaurant, which I've been showcasing in a very positive way as, as a part of the, the cultural experience that I want my audience to come to understanding. So it is kind of educational, but we're not prophesizing. You know, we're just trying to show them, you know, what, what true Afro-Cuban culture has been, is about. Yeah. And when I met uh, the, our host here tonight, Alessandra, Alessandra Belloni, somewhere around here. you know, we became very, very good friends. This is almost 15 years ago. And we were introduced by the lady uh, Shayla Spencer. Right. Uh, and uh, Alessandra, uh, I learned of her work uh, and her vision to bring uh, light to the story of the Black Madonna of Italy, right. but also how that, that story has these threads that traveled with the migration of the Italian people all over the world. But here we are as well, and why was with this uh, the story of Oshun and Yamadia, uh, as well as the Christian versions of right. the, la, la Virgin de la Caridad de Cobre mm -hmm. in, in Spanish Cuba, right. and La Virgin de Regla, which are the same stories, but um, our ancestors who were uh, a part of the African movement, the slave trade that came over, right. had to cover up that knowledge. But Alessandro seeks, and I seek to bring more awareness uh, of the knowledge, of the blessings, um, of the sacredness of this. And uh, she has uh, done an amazing job oh, yeah. by way of her music, right. you know. And so I've been working, we've, we've sponsored her, we've brought her to, to New Haven to, to do it, you know, to, to, I produced a theatrical event there for her. As, and her community, and we've worked on um, projects in Hawaii, and we look forward to bringing her, you know, working together at some point in Cuba. Oh, I love it. And so I, we assume that this is all about Italian heritage, but Alessandra is actually honoring people that really made a difference, difference, I can even say that too, really made a difference in the Italian community. And I'm glad you cleared up Black Madonna, because, you know, most people be like, Black Madonna? So you're talking about Lenny Kravitz, but you actually cleaned that up. I, I just have to say that right there. But this is an amazing event that you're a part of right now. Yeah. Amanda DeSante, I don't know the Pioni. How honored are you to be amongst these legendary people that you're getting award with as well? You know, I just sell rice and beans, man. So <laughs> I, what I'm doing here, I, you know, I don't know. I, 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 I hope that our little, our work makes a contribution to humanity. We really do, me and my team in there in New Haven. Uh, and soon here in New York, we hope so, and that um, we hope that the message we can that we bring through honoring our ancestors gives some sense of inspiration and light and hope to our young people. You know, we have challenges in our urban communities today that yeah. I feel like if they, ha you know, if we have a little greater sense of who we really are, what we really come from that we will have a, a brighter idea about where we're going. And that's what, I, that's what it's about for me. And Alessandra and I working together just makes that more, uh, more powerful. Yeah. She has several of her, or several of Alessandra's songs are fusion, right. you know, between, uh, in an honor of uh, Yemaya and Oshun. So she's fusing Southern Italian and, and West African uh, traditions. It's amazing, well, you know, and it. we know that that to be true in Sicily and the southern part of Italy, but it's, you know, hard, hard, you know you're not gonna find a lot of people who are willing to be so open and, and, and to, to cherish it and honor her in such a way. So I honor her for her amazing work. Well, I love that you guys are giving back to each other. Yeah. And I love where you're going with this because I know where we're going right now. I'm seeing some Italian food on That's the table. Right. <laughs> Me and him are about to get something to eat. If you guys don't know, this is Jesus Puerto right here at the fundraising event in Local 92 in the East Village of New York City. Okay, so I'm back and I gotta sit down for this one because 
Well, we're, we're going to stay the same high right now. So we are here with the, the woman. And I'm not going to say the man, the woman, right? <laughs> this is out of San De Bologna, the founder of Il Diare di Piazza. This is out of Sandra. How you doing? Bologna, if you guys don't know, out of Sandra Bologna. How you doing? I'm really happy and excited. Actually, tonight, it's more than I expected. No, this We've is great. We've been planning this event to honor our group and to do fundraising, as you know, but the turnout is more than we thought. And to have these incredible people with us, Armando Sante that I follow because he's a great actor, as you very well know. Who's Armando Sante? Oh, oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that guy, but the guy I talked to. He doesn't know that, but his sister worked in my theater company. I didn't know that. Yeah, Denise Sante was in our theater group in the, in the ni early 90s. Okay, so, so since we're name dropping, you work with Fellini, is that yes, correct? I worked with Federico Fellini, Il Maestro, and the great actress Anna Magnani. I started out as a child actress right. in Rome. But then, because my father, being an Italian father, didn't want me to be an artist, right. he didn't let me go on tour with her and, and uh, Zeffirelli. Mm -hmm. um, I continued to study acting on my own. I moved to America, and then I moved back for a short time, and I was lucky to be in Casanova with Federico Fellini. I love it. And I played the Turkish princess, and we stayed in touch through the years. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this fundraiser right here, this is to represent your nonprofit, yes. El Girare di Piazza, yes. which is pretty much a southern Italian dancing. I think it's called Tarantella. Tarantella, yes. Right, and the artists are like in house artists. Is that what I'm assuming at the church? Artists in residence at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Correct. You must be familiar with that space. I, yeah. I love Just the a place. little. Yeah. Just a little. So and I got to get it right. It's a very um, special place because we do spiritual work, even though we entertain. And our, there is always a message behind every production we've done because we do bigger operas and theater as well. Right. Now, your honorees, by the way, you selected Armando Santi, I don't know the Pironi, all right, and you got Jesus Poeta. What made you decide on these two <laughs> eclectic people? Because even though two of our actors, each one of them had their own little significance in the Absolutely. Italian heritage. And also in um, inspiration for me, which is, as an artist, we always look for inspiration, you know? I used to watch Armando Santi a lot, so on a theater acting level, right. it was an inspiration. Yeah. Especially on certain roles going back, like when he played Napole Napoleon, because we do act acting and theater from the Renaissance, and so you, I always look at that. Right. Then uh, Eleonora, who's an amazing, beautiful soul, as a beautiful woman, is very supportive of the Italian culture in New York in, on so many levels, and very proud. She does it with style, yeah. and she dances, so with, Maybe we will have her then. So I thought it would be great to have her. Jesus has become a friend, but he's a supporter of the arts. He's been one of our patrons mm -hmm. and produced our production called Spider Dance years back. And I know him from Hawaii. So and I, I love it. Hawaii. And I love it. And I'll be honest with you, you're an inspiration as well. You Thank put you. a nonprofit together to help really keep up with the Southern Italian traditions. You have a lot of people that love you. They're all here tonight, not for the free Italian food, or maybe they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'm calling you guys out, free Italian food. <laughs> but congratulations on this amazing event, especially coming back after COVID, because I know you stopped uh, doing this for a little while. I know this is our while. first in three years, so it is a very special night. Yeah, and you we took it for granted that we could just keep performing and doing our thing. We were not. But I started teaching online during COVID. Well, you want to know something? Even though COVID is pretty much gone, the pandemic itself, it's still here. But us being back to our regular life is here. This crowd has showed right here, no matter how many years you may have <laughs> taken off, this tradition is never going to go away. And it's because True. of people like you. So Thank congratulations you on that. Like you. We need your support. I appreciate that. Guys, if we you don't know, oh, you got it, you got it. This is Alessandro Bologna right here at the Il Diario di Piazza fundraising event at Local 92 in the East Village in New York City. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing fundraising event. Aman, what did you think about this event? Do you have a good time? Yeah, and, and uh, what I said actually manifested itself in the room, which is I feel that the, there was a spirit here that everyone um, came together. We all have certain familiar roots and uh, all of us have a similar DNA, but, but um, I will say the spirit that I felt in the room is exactly what I feel about the world right now. Yep. We have to come together. That's right. 
we have to come together as a family, as we come from family. Exactly. The world has to come together as a family. Exactly. Because we're ignoring a lot of signals that are given us. And if we don't pay attention to the signals, I think we're checking out. And I agree with them totally. And guys, remember everything this gentleman is saying. He's not just a legend because of what he does on screen. He's a legend because of what he does off screen. And definitely come to Local 92, my man, Martello Asante's restaurant. Great restaurant. Great fundraiser event tonight. And at the end of the day, happy holidays, everybody. And like I always say, if you're not living a passionate life, then whose life are you living? Guys, have a great night. Get home safe. This is my man. God bless you, Warden. Aman Asante. Todd FaceTime with Todd Warden. And we'll see you soon right here in the next cafe in the East Village, New York City. God bless you.